Hi there. Um, okay, first off, I want to apologize. I'm breaking every single social media rule possible. I'm holding my phone. I haven't set up lighting. I don't have a mic. None of these things. Those stuff aren't with me, but I've got to get the midweek message out. Um, so here it goes. Please excuse the quality. Now, for those of you who don't know, I, I grew up in PE. Though. The first part of my life was in PE. And I remember as a young boy, we used to go off to a swimming pool. And I think it was in Newton Park. But at the swimming pool, they had this diving board, this big cement monstrosity. And my ambition was to jump off the top. Now, I, I assume the first diving board was about two meters, the next one five meters, and the top one, I assume, 10 meters. As a little boy, it was high. I can tell you that. It was, was something like beyond me at that stage. And so it was my, my desire to jump off there. And I conquered the two-meter one. You know, that's, I mean, wow. Everyone conquered that one. The five-meter one was a little bit dodgy, but I, I did manage to go off there. And then I decided, I'm going to do the big one. Okay. So I march up these stairs with my skinny little body, my heart pumping in my chest, and I get to the top. Now first hold on to onto the, the um, rails there, and I'm looking and I'm thinking, man, this is high. This is a lot higher than I thought. And I walk to the edge, and I look down, but I can see the bottom of the pool, so it looks a lot higher than it actually is. But fear overcame me, and you know, I stood there trembling, um, and, and I just couldn't do it. I could not jump. I eventually wormed my way back to the steps, and like with droopy, droopy head walking her head underneath down the steps again thinking oh you weakling you why didn't you jump and my friends are ragging me and I did this a few times and I walked up there with determination this time I'm gonna do it but whenever I got to the top and I looked down I just could not jump okay and you gotta remember now back then um I had uh, what they call bakwera. I don't know what you call bakwera in, in English. What? Yo, like this. So I could only ever go up when there was no wind. <laughs> Otherwise I'd fly out of there. Never mind. Jump off there. But the I just could never do it. It didn't matter how I convinced myself, how my friends, and I remember guy was with on one particular occasion his name was mark and he was trying to egg me on you can do it and i'll get to the top and no i can't do it and then you got to like maneuver yourself back and you got to swallow your pride and have people look at you like you know what's up with you you're supposed to be jumping off not going down but that fear of jumping off that height just must have stayed with me if we fast forward about 20, 23 years, I was about 30, I can't remember exactly, and we we were, we were took our kids out for the day, and just outside uh, Pretoria, towards Cullinan, if I remember right, there was this, this picnic or camping place, and so we went there, <clears throat> now lo and behold, there's a waterfall, and my son is like, He's like me. I, I do adventurous things, stupid things. I'm not really scared or wasn't scared of much except jumping off heights. And he's a lot like me in that sense. You know, he'll, he'll push the envelope. He'll push the limits on just about everything. And so he's seven or eight at this stage and he decides, no, he's going to jump off there. And But now... Dad must do it with him. And um, I don't know if he was under the influence of my lovely wife who egged him on. But he's, come on, Dad, let's do this. Come jump with me. And, you know, I'm, I want to show, look, I'm big and I'm brave and I can do this. And so I let him convince me 
to go jump off this waterfall, whatever you want to call it. So we climb up and we go and we walk, we walk along this cement thing where the water's running over and we're standing there. And now we've got to jump. And it was probably only four, maybe five meters. But as I look down, I get that fear grips me again. And I'm, my legs are starting to shake. But now I must keep my pose because the young one's with me and he can't see his dad. He's scared. So he's, come on, let's jump, let's jump. And I'm saying, now let's just stand. Let's have a look around first. Look, at there's a bird. And look at the nice bush. And trying to buy time so I can overcome this fear. Um, and eventually I convince him, like, after questioning my wife, like, is this kid ours? Because he's got no fear. I mean, where did he come from? Did we bring the right child home from the hospital? Like, who's is he? And I convince him to jump, and he jumps like, oh, there he goes, and he's laughing and having fun, and he climbs out, and he, he runs back, and come on, Dad, and I'm like, why don't you go again? I'm watching you. I'm enjoying watching you. And he must have jumped about six times, and then he saw, look, there's even a higher place to jump off. And now he wants to go do that. And I haven't even mastered the, the low one yet. I'm still standing there like petrified. And he was jumps off this high one. Eventually, I just swallow my pride. And I admit to my son, your dad is not going to do it. <laughs> and to this day, I regret not overcoming that fear. Um... And it wasn't a big thing, but it's the principle. If we want to, to walk faithfully into our future, there might be some things that we fear that we've got to overcome. And what i found since then is that God is always faithful when I face the fear. He's always been faithful. And that's all I ask that you trust God as you face whatever fear you've got. Trust him that he'll get you through it. And if, he'll, if he brings you to it, they say he'll get you through it. And that's the truth. You've got so much ahead of you. Don't let fear hold you back. Thank you for listening. Share this. Uh, be good when we can see each other again. Till then, be blessed and face your fear.